a man named Karunakaran lived in the city of Ujjaini. He had four sons, Daya, Hari, Vidu and Nil. Karunakaran's wife passed away when sons were very young. So he raised them all. But the four boys turned out to be a spoiled brat who never studied. Father was worried about their future. One day, he told them, Stop fighting, you fools, and come inside. I want to discuss something with you right now. How many times should I tell you all to be serious in life towards your career? But it seems you'll never listen to me. You all won't understand today I'm alive to take care of you. But tomorrow I may not be there with you. Then what will happen after I'm gone? All of you will repent for not studying and being educated. So, for the last time I'm advising you. I have spoken to a friend who is a very good magician and is a very good teacher. He agreed to teach you all. Hearing this, sons were very happy. They said, Will he teach us a magic? Wow! I always wanted to learn magic. Yes, my son. He will teach you magic. You will have to go to Karnataka and stay there for a year with him. And they all agreed. I am happy that you have understood. I will make arrangements. You all have to live tomorrow. And then they stayed with Karnataka's friend and studied magic under him for a year. They worked hard and memorized all the mantras. So the year passed and it was time for boys to leave and go back to a journey. On the way, they saw a bone of a lion. They wanted to try their luck. They wanted to try their learnings. And with the mantras, all four of them made lion alive. And the lion ate them all. Betalak Swigram Now tell me, who among the four brothers was the biggest fool? Answer my question or else I will break your head into pieces. Vikram replied, Youngest brother Neil was of course, was the biggest fool. He did extremely a foolish thing by bringing lion back alive. He was responsible for everyone's death. What a fool! Well said, Vikram. You are right, but foolish. You spoke and broke your words. So here I go. 